Hi there and welcome to the quest that became legend. It's an alpha version of a pretty interesting RPG that plays like the CRPGs of old, like Wizardry 8 to name one example. And uh, we're just gonna have a deeper look into that thing, try it out a little bit, hunt a few monsters, maybe reach a village, do a quest if you're lucky. It's uh, by no means an a totally easy game. Uh, there's already a selection of classes, of hero portraits, and we're just gonna, gonna jump right in with a party. So this is how you make a party at the moment. Keep in mind that is um, that is an alpha version, so it's a very, very early development version. I'm gonna make a warrior here. As you can see, um, warrior is usually based on close combat and so we're gonna gonna take the stuff for close combat you can see that every one of these attributes has specialized things for example if i go for strength like i would for a warrior i get more melee damage i get more attack power and a critical melee chance when i get constitution i get defense power combat energy and hit points a lot with intelligence i could increase my experience boost but also spell effects and so this is more for mages the same goes for wisdom we're gonna go and put a little bit into speed for every two points we gain one initiative and a little bit of dodge chance for every five points and action points that are also gonna be helpful and we're gonna put in also some into um, dexterity because it gives armor class but only like at at thirty, so maybe maybe we'll we'll pull through here uh, only later. But there's a couple of, as you can see, there's a couple of limits to this, so we cannot put everything to twenty five at the start. And that is like blocking it. That's the maximum for a warrior. That will increase in time. These are our current stats: melee damage, range damage, spell damage, and so on. So you can see. That we should go for melee and we'll really go for that with 200 swords maybe heavy armor and um, as an alternative we can also use the staff or maybe sh let's let's prepare maybe for a shield and maybe later we can we can choose another thing maybe clubs and mace something like that so let's go for the next party member let's let's take this guy i'm in my opinion ranger is not that strong but we'll still try the ranger out and uh, does the ranger need the ranger does ranged damage so the ranger needs a lot of dexterity constitution is pretty good for everyone so we'll go for that speed it's about the same and then the rest we can put into either either strength I don't know if that's that's gonna be that great. I mean, the the problem is that once someone is close to you, uh, you use the close combat attack, and this means you need a little bit of strength at least. So we're gonna make it maybe like like this to to have a balanced ranger. Ah, now, look at that. <laughs> we also made this Immanuel Kanana. We'll make this, I don't know, uh, the Dark Savant. The Dark Savant Ranger. Let's see if this uh, gets saved. No. But we remember pretty well what we had. Here we go. Dexterity. Speed. Some constitution. And some strength. What we're gonna go for um it's pretty good to go for something like bow and crossbow of course with a ranger you can go for magic too we can go for medium armor and um uh, maybe let's let's go for a little bit of magic let's make for wind magic next one let's make a female mm. I don't know whom we're going to take here. She looks pretty cool, right? Uh, so make a sorcerer here. 
We need a lot of intelligence with increased spell damage, spell effect duration, experience points and wisdom, magic power, mana and 1% uh, resistance for every six points. So you can see we have already a little bit of resistance. We still need is some constitution, of course, and some speed, maybe dexterity, maybe a little bit more constitution. That should be helpful. We're going to go for, we need a staff, then let's go for some light armor and maybe pick the standard fire magic. Another female and there's also a healing class here. Someone dashing, a shaman. And there's also cleric and battle mage. Shaman can heal a little bit. I don't know what cleric and battle mage will be able to do, but we'll, we'll go for that one for now. Also with intelligence, wisdom, a bit of constitution, um, not really much dexterity, I think. Maybe a little bit of strength. Make it like like this. What do we want? We want healing magic. Uh, we want maybe a shield and clubs and mace. Here we go. So we have a little bit of a distribution when we find um, when we find something. Yeah, we have voice acting. The tab, of course. An age of darkness, friends. Goblins. Yeah. and unprepared for all that are to come. Little did they know that a quest for a small bounty would actually be the beginning of what would become a legend. So let's dive in a little bit, explore a little bit, and uh, most of all, yeah, there's, there's a tutorial. You can see if the uh, options open how you want your overlay to be. There's movement and interactions and so on. There's a couple of keys for that. I've tested that all. There's some information that you can see here. And uh, the quests to win the game, you must complete all the main quests, but there's also many side quests in the game and combat is turn-based. It's just like in the game Wizardry 8 that I have also on the channel. And that is uh, pretty similar in combat system and all of that. Sometimes the characters will level up and then you get can see five attribute points uh, that can be used to increase the six main stats of the character. Every second level the character will also receive a skill point, which can be used in the skill tree, because we have skill trees too. Whenever a character has available skill or attribute points, a little square with a cross in it will be displayed. Here, that's the character stats we've already seen about the character stats. As you can see, there's an example warrior here. It's heavily focusing on strength and constitution, as would be good. The skill trees, every cl uh, class has a skill tree that is unique to that class. As you can see, you can choose everything from here, then go and proceed into the other ones, specialize in something or make like something broad for that. And in general, make a, make a very nice uh, combination that will lead to success or failure, <laughs> depending on how you play it. And there are some common skills to be learned, as you can see here, staff, sword, and so on, fire, magic, 
Also, though, Pathfinder, Treasure Seeker, Hunter, and Negotiator. There's some skills and spells. There's a spell book, um, and there's different things here that you can choose from, for example, healing. There's a couple of healing things, and these are the, the schools of magic on the side. So you can choose, do I want wind magic? Do I want healing magic? What kind of spell do I want from that? Enemy speed is set at 400% by default for the alpha. Um, so everything will be a little bit quickly right now. And um, we should save. We should save because the world's a dangerous place. So you save. You save often. We'll just start at save 11. You just click on it and it's saved. So we'll go back and as you can see, the world looks pretty beautiful. And that's really one of the highlights that you can already see. The world is just very, very beautiful. And if you press Q, like you, you can have a little cursor here. It helps you to interact with the world. That's also um, something you do when you're going in for combat. You can see that um, while this seems like an open world, mostly there's uh, a lot of paths there. There's a lot of um, tree land, so to say. And in general, it's advisable to stay here on the path. Our first task is to find a village. There's a village out there, and I think the village was around here. So um, in the village, you can get some quests and some stuff, and that's what we want to find. Oh, and there's a goblin here. Let's see how many goblins there are. And there's only one goblin for now. So um, let's see what we can do. As you can see, um, we currently have Dark Savant active, our ranger. He's got the highest initiative, and he can shoot. You can just shoot if you want. And then whoa, we end the turn by pressing um, the space bar. So we're going for new things. You can also like drink a potion from here. If you have a potion, do similar other things that are in there. So um, These, these are action points, as you can see, and these are the mana points. So Dark Savant. Usually this was auto-scrolling, but okay. Um, here we go. Theresia is now active. There's Theresia. And we can, for example, go for the spell book. We can see that we have the poison that we can use to infect him. Oh, no, it's too far away. So it's too far away. We can only shoot with a ranged attack. Now we have Vinyana active and we can go for something else. We can go for the Mage's Orb and there's something else here. The Firebolt, pretty good range, 50 points of fire damage for 50 mana. Can compare to 34 points of arcane damage with 40 range. Um, it has a cooldown and it doesn't need mana. So this one doesn't have a cooldown but costs mana. So what we're going to do is, of course, we're going to go for the Mage's Orb, so the cooldown starts ticking. Here we go. Boom. Took zero physical damage, but took 34 arcane damage. Zero physical damage was from her ranged attack, from the Shaman's ranged attack. Here we go. Now it's the Goblin's turn. And we're active again. Shoot. 15 damage from Dark Savant. Pretty good attack. And... Um, Go for the next one. Immanuel Khan is active. We can also move a little bit if we want, but we'll just uh, stay here. If Theresia now, and she should be able to go. Um, as you can see, we can go minor healing, and that gives us 30 HP back, which is not much, but um, it's something. This thing is also based on cooldown again, so we can use it and should use it. Every time it comes up, here we go. Be poisoned. Vinanya is active. And we have used this thing, it's on cooldown. So we're gonna go for fire. Be fire, boom. Goblin took 50 fire damage, which is pretty crazy. You can see the 12 damage is ticking and Vinyana is already 
picking up the engine. Scoo, you can see that he's pretty, pretty small. So we can we can now go for this. Uh, only three physical damage, but that's okay. Because we have Emmanuel Khan now active, and he can he also has some kind of a spell look, as you can see, we can go seismic slash, which gives us which has a cooldown, and we can go for a taunt. And uh, So that everything will be directed towards us, which is a good idea. Theresias are get active again, and we just have an attack. Boom. Goblin is dead. We've found four gold coins. You can also find items, but in this case, we found the gold. So let's go. F so let's run a little bit further together. Um, there's sometimes there's little things where you can go into the forest and that will lead you a completely other path to a, to a completely other area. But for now, this thing railroads us to the village where we can speak to the characters. As you can see, they are a little bit animated already and you can speak to them. Hello there, stranger. What brings you to our little town? We're adventurous, looking for work. Okay, adventurous, we're a little town and not much extra work to be found around here. However, I'm sure there's something you can do if you ask around. You heard this town has put out a bounty on a band of goblins. Do you know anything about that? Oh, so you're looking for that kind of work. Well, yes, yes, I do. To be honest, I just didn't think you were the fighting type. But looks can be deceiving and we really do need someone to take care of our goblin problem. They have become a real threat. Their numbers just keep growing. Okay, we'll take care of it, man. There always seem to be some roaming around the near vicinity of the village, probably just waiting for the right moment to attack the village or anyone who strays too, uh, too far from it without proper protection. They seem to have taken residence inside a cave not far away southeast from here. Clean out the cave, maybe that will discourage the rest, or at least slow, tear, slow their n growing numbers down. I'll return when the job is done. So, that's one of the things. And for having found the village, we already get a level up. We get some experience points and a level up. So let me see. So we can go for C. Uh, so there's a lot based on uh, keyboard commands still. So we're going to go for T and then we have this selection. Let's give him some more strength. We have Dark Savant who gets a little bit more dexterity. Uh, Vinyana gets a little bit more intelligence. And Theresia gets a little bit more wisdom. Here we go. And we can also go for skills. As you can see, we already have one skill tree point available. Let's give us some extra healing power. And here we can go and can go for extra mana increase with character level. Extra mana on level up. Hmm, that, that seems nice, right? That seems nice. So let's go for that first. And then we'll have something for the range, extra range damage, um, extra defense power and attack power and dodge. Master aim allows to hit targets over a longer distance. So that would be nice too. Less damage reduction over range. Well, let's go for that. That seems pretty nice. Or a ranger, and then we have Emmanuel Khan who can go for extra hit points and level up, extra damage, extra defense power. Uh, let's go for extra hit points and level up. That seems useful to take early on, right? So, and now <laughs> I think we're gonna, oh, I think we're gonna save the game again and look around in the village a little more, see what the people say. Hey there. Now I can teach you the ways of the hunter, making you better to assess what's in front of you. Sounds like a good idea. Aha, uh -huh. train hunter to skill level one for 100 gold pieces. Can we teach Dark Savant? No, no, no. Because we don't have the gold pieces. So we have first to kill some goblins, maybe do the quest, and then we can go the gold pieces. Look at that, there's some very nice decoration around here. Let's talk to this man too. What do you want? Maybe do you have a quest? Do you want to join us? Hello, travelers. Who might you be? The town's healer. What kind of arrangement do we have? 
My friend and helper Boris went missing. Okay, uh, we promise to look for him. We'll do our best to find him. Nothing right now. Let's check on her. They, need, they say all, all seem a little bit gnaws, right? Got a fine selection of potions and spells. We don't have money yet, so we'll not go for her now. Let's get in there. What do you want? Uh, training your offhand is a big advantage if you wish to fight with two weapons. What's the thing behind you? An old teleport used to. They're not active anymore. Aha. Uh -huh. Until recently. Why does this magic not work anymore? When the darkness arrived, the, uh, the town elders of several villages came together to discuss the situation. At this meeting, they also agreed that the portals were too dangerous at times like this. Imagine if the dark forces discovered them and used them to spread around the uh, through the land. Imagine if a horde of demons just suddenly appeared in the middle of the village, so the magic was dispelled. Can we still use them somehow? Well, I've heard that some of the elders are in possession of a special crystal that can power up the portals, allowing them to travel through the portals. Where could we get such a crystal? Apparently they can only be found in Ethereal. So I guess you would have to go there and find someone who knows where to get them. Try the North Village. It's not so far from the border. How do we get there to Ethereal? Travel across the west border of Mikirida and you'll arrive in Ethereal. Let's see if we can get further. Someone else here. Ever wanted to learn the mystical arts of spell casting? You know every school of magic? I sure do. What if you want to learn some stronger magic? Aha, okay. That's all I need to know. Goodbye. So, If we have a little bit more money, we'll come back to her. For now, let's go around here. Have, have we talked to, to him as well? What wares do you have? Yeah, he has, he has the kind of stuff that usually is dropped by the goblins, but he has rather the good stuff, not the... Not the bad stuff. So we can change to sell mode and see if we have something to sell. We have an old old buckler, but we'll keep them. That thing. Never know. Close the trade window. And then we'll see what we'll do. Let's talk to everyone. Oh, look, we can get in there even. Uh, and it's, it's, it's very alpha. It's very alpha, but still not too shabby. I quickly save the game because now it's going to get a little bit more dangerous. We're just going to go around and see what we can find. I mean, there's the map. You can see here the map is still a little bit... Yeah, the map looks a little bit odd because we have um, a very high resolution. But you can see that there's the goblin cave when we go around here. It's very, very small script. There's the East Village teleport, the village, and there's the South Cave. So goblin cave, South Cave. So if we go... East, we should arrive there at at a point. So, uh, and it looks like we're going east. If I if I read that right, so I'm gonna go east and hug that wall here or that forest. Then we should come to the goblin. Oh 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 oh! There's something attacking us now. It seems like there's giant rats. What can we do? Let's shoot them. Dark savant makes a critical hit. Manuel Khan is also active. Dodge the attack. And the rats are coming. Theresia is active. And Vinyana is active. Let's see what she can do. She can already, already fire the spell, right? Here we go. Boom. Great. They're coming in. I cannot see which one of them is very wounded. Dark Savant is active now. We've already killed a rat for 56 physical damage. Wow. That was cool. We're also active. Boom. <laughs> See the rats are coming there. Rat also. No. Theresia is active. She can probably use the poison. Whoop. And Vinyana is now active again. 
That thing is in cooldown. So let's make them eat fire. 55 damage, very nice. Coming in. Oh, we're affected by a disease. The disease goes away after combat, though, so um, it's not it's not that bad. Let's see what we can do. We can fire a heavy a heavy arrow, or we can go for a shock wave. That thing has a cooldown, so let's just fire the heavy arrow. Manuel Khan is active, and let's see what we can have. We have a seismic slash casting range twelve. Or a taunt, but that's not useful to us, so we'll just shoot with the standard attack. And uh, yeah, what do we have? Yeah, we have we have some old short bow, so not a not a very good bow, but it has to be enough, right? Oh 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 oh. Theresia takes even poison damage. Theresia is active now. Uh, but I don't think we have to do something uh, something critical right now. Let's just see what we can do. Besides, I mean, we can start to heal, but I don't think we need to, so let's just hit. Vinyan is active and uh, just fire more fireballs, right? Dark Savant is ready and should. We should look around. That skills on cooldown, and we can go for the shockwave, but we have not enough mana. Okay, then we'll just hit. See what we found. We found a beggar's hood, old and smelly, an old leather helmet. Let's take these. Some gold and some more gold, and we still have some damage, but that that, that runs out. What we're we gonna do now? We're gonna look if we have some improvements here to make. So we have an old leather helmet that has pretty good armor class. It's medium armor, so we should, in, in theory, we should give it over here to Dark Savant because he's adept at medium armor. And we have the Beggar's Hood, light armor. We'll give it to, uh, to Indiana. And then we have an old buckler. We have a large branch here. Uh, old buckler. So we could, we could use this, but could also not use this and whoop just put that weapon in there and be done with it let's see yeah we don't want that, that of course but he would maybe get that and we have an old iron dagger and an old buckler so we're a little bit better protected in melee combat so let's get further in we want to get to the goblin cave and we're on that path here we go Nothing can stop us. Maybe except monsters, but who will find monsters, right? <laughs> There's other goblins. There's more goblins. Okay. Uh, Dark Savant is active and uh, we'll... Let's, let's see if we can shoot. Good range. And here we go. Yay! Good stuff. Shoot more. Theresia is active. Uh, she cannot do her poison yet. Vinyana is active and we can make her shoot the mages all. Boom! That was pretty good damage. Goblins are coming and uh, these these guys have like the first goblin had a shield too and these guys have daggers. You can see. Shoot a little bit. Here we go. The reese is active as well and we can now go for the poison. Vinyana is active and let's change over to the fire. Already finished the first goblin. The other goblin is gonna perform some magic against us. Okay, Dark Savant is gonna go for some ranged magic. And I think we're gonna we're gonna move forward. We're 
active as well, so you can move one time. Um, Theresia's active. Uh, let's see if she can't poison. No, because there's still a cooldown. We have Winyana, and she can bring the fire over. Mana is decreasing quickly. End of the round, and he's going forward. Dark Savant is active again. Let's shoot. One more can. And Theresia can probably now go for the poison. No, no, not yet. Um, Vinyana with the firebolt. Boom! We also defeated that goblin. Now let's have a look what they had with them. Just one gold coin, that's not very much. Oh, two gold coins. Well, that's not very much, but well, I mean, they, they, weren't, they weren't hard, so. Look at that. Over there, I can see some goblins in the distance. Oh, 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 oh. And some kind of rat. Better clear that out first, eh? Hello there, goblin. Goblin's coming. Dark Savant is active. And as you can see, the main thing of the game is currently combat. And that's quite okay. Oh, oh, there's two rats also coming. Oh, I think the rats are maybe easier to hit, so let's hit the rats. Theresia's active. Yeah, let's hit the rats. Yeah, rats are easier to hit. Go easier to hit first, and let's shoot the mage's orb. Activate the cooldown. Go, we're coming in, we're coming in. Dark Savant is active again, and... We'll shoot the rat. And we can go for a little bit forward. So much forward that we can now probably attack with a seismic slash also does uh, area damage. So we want that for later for now. We want to hit. Giant rat has fallen, and Theresia's active. Here we go. Poison that thing. Yana can't go for some fire magic. The goblin is coming. Ah! Dark Savant. Uh, still. Still not in, we can go for that attack. The rat is coming. Mm, we took more damage. Emmanuel Khan is active and takes down the rat. Theresia. Can't go for the poison, can go for a little bit of healing, but I think we'll just attack. Dodge the attack. Ooh, we took poison damage. Vinyana's active. Let's, let's roast him a little bit. Ow. Now that was quite some damage here. Let's see. Ah, uh, still one round. Still one round. Five damage. Let's go for something spectacular, right? The seismic slash. Mm, Theresia's active, and I think we should be we should be a little bit careful here. Let's go some minor healing. Here we go. Vinyana still has the firebolt, and here we go. This goblin had more gold coins. Oh, we find a rusted short sword and a spangen helm. And that's heavy armor. It's got strength six. And I think we should should give that to Immanuel Khan. The rusted short sword isn't as good as the rusty large axe. 
but it's maybe better than the iron dagger i'm not really sure about that but hey what can you do what can dark savant do let's see mm. so we have 12 to 15 now if we exchange that 14 to 70 da uh, 17 damage that's very nice we'll put that yeah that's in the inventory now okay close that save a little bit continue our journey because i really don't know yeah we're, we're going close to the goblin cave as i said i'm i'm using 4k resolution um, but i don't want to uh, render it that way because it takes forever then uh, especially in that level of detail so to give you a quick look at that thing make we'll make it so and when it's when it's full review review version then we can go and make it 4k <laughs> so dark savant is active let's see what we can do shoot the arrow <laughs> ha ha Theresia, uh, she can shoot Vinyana with a mage's orb. Beautiful. Wow, that could very well wipe us out, I think. Uh, what can Dark Savant do? Let's, let's see, let's find out. Uh, aim for the head, man! Aim for the head! Oh, that wasn't too great. But here we go. The research is active. Let's go and go for some poison. Vinyana. Mm. Fire! Yeah, we took the one with the shield down. That's really cool. End of the round already. Ooh, 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 ooh. There's still some goblins left. There's still some goblins left. Uh, let's take aim for that one here. Doesn't have a shield. Here we go. Theresia um, can go for... Well, for some healing if we want so, but no. No, no, no. Vinyana. Oh. You look burned. Ow. Okay, okay. So Dark Savant should, 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 should. Mm. Hit here? No, no. That would be a waste as well. Let's see what we can do. Mm, we still don't have enough mana. Let's go for that. Manuel Khan is active. And this is the right time for the Seismic Slash. Here we go. Boom. Actually affected two of two of them with that. The region is active, and there's one thing we should do: it's healing. Vinyana's active, and what should we could we would would we do next? Maybe fire on that. Here we go. Ah, wow. They're really hurting. I mean, there's that, right? Hmm. Whom do we want to affect? This one or this one? I mean, this one's already wounded, but harder to hit. This one is not wounded, but easier to hit. Let's finish that guy. see can we do that again no we, but we can taunt we can taunt this these guys and uh, hope for the best the region is active so they should be taunted we can go for some healing on whom on herself of course Vinyana's active and she cannot do much anymore but maybe she has that thing again the mage's orb oh. 
That goblin has fallen as well. Uh, it took some damage. Emmanuel Khan and Dark Savan should do what they can now. We have some... No, we have nothing that could heal us. You just have to do damage. Theresia is active too. Maybe she can, she can heal again. No, not enough mana. But we have poison now. Whoa! Vinyana is active, has no mana. Here we go. Dark Savant is active. Emmanuel can, can strike that one down. And we'll move forward. The region is active again. Mm, can she heal? Not really. Just not enough mana, so we'll attack. We'll attack and hope for the best. When Yana's active, same goes for her. Ah! Took more damage. We took more damage. Let's go. F so let's go in closer. And we can go for the heavy arrow. Uh, that should show him, hopefully. The so Rija is active. So I don't think we regenerate mana, so... Here we go. Vinyana. Hmm... Oh, 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 it's getting close. It's running away from us. It's, it's, it's pretty, pretty close. Let's go behind him with a ranged attack. Take that guy out. Ah. Now he's hitting Dark Savant for some, some good reason. Dark Savant is active again, and I think we can... No, we cannot fire that. We have to go for the standard attack. Here we go. And Vinyana also do that. And the Goblin's running away. We're running in behind him. Still on cooldown. Oh, the enemy goblin dodged the attack. Wow. Are they luring us into the cave? I wonder. Getting closer. We can for some reason not hit him, so I think we should we should maybe go away if we can. Let's retreat. Goblin is coming and we seem to be uh probably in a in a buggy situation here ah because the goblin can shoot through everywhere and we just cannot we cannot take it so wiped by a goblin ah now now we're we're in a we're in a situation where we can shoot again here we go goblin is coming our two characters are out of it, and I think this goblin is going to wipe us. Maybe not, though, because we can... Uh, can maybe, maybe, maybe... Maybe we can poison him. Can we poison him? No. Shoot. Maybe now.
And we did it. We we have now everybody's dead and we should go back. Or at least in in need of a heal. So through this bug we've also also learned how it feels to die. And uh, actually the combat can be can be rather hard. As you've seen, we were already at the limits and it was very close, so we could have died anyways, but um, this was extremely hard. So let's let's see if we can find maybe something. Hey there, would you talk to us? Come to me. Yeah, we will. This guy, I think, was the village healer, wasn't he? Uh, we need you to resurrect a party member. Welcome back. Okay. Uh, we need to talk about something else, Dark Savant and uh, more options. We'll want to resurrect Vinyana. <laughs> that was all for now. So we've returned to the world of the living and uh, with that we close for now. Maybe we'll reach the Goblin Cave. We've, we've seen the Goblin Cave, but you've seen that there's this invulnerable or nearly invulnerable goblin there. That has been very, very dangerous to us. We'll look into this further, maybe when it's a little bit more developed, maybe we'll just take another round. We'll make a save and come back to this. I hope you liked it. Have a great time and next time and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. See you soon and happy gaming.